night, ladies and gentlemen. You know, he that waits upon the Lord shall renew his strength. That's written in the Bible. And it's another part in the Bible which says wait. I say wait on the Lord. And I just put this so that people would be patient, not panic when situations happen, but trust in the Lord to direct the pathway. I'm learning how to do that. I want to talk to you guys about a fight. I'm not going to be talking very loud because it's late in the night. It's 11.16. Fantasy matchup. I got this from the May with the Boxing Channel. It has to do with Roy Jones Jr. versus Sugar Ray Leonard. Now, both guys <coughs> were. They fought in the middleweight division and the super middleweight division. Okay? But even so, the question was which was the better fighter? Now, when we look at Sugar Ray Leonard. Clearly, Sugar Ray Leonard had the better defense than did Roy Jones Jr. And Sugar Ray Leonard could do many different things. That is, he could fight from outside. He could infight. And he could also fight at mid-range. Whereas Roy Jones Jr. was more of an outboxer. He fought from a distance. He kept range quite a lot in many of his fights. Um, so... When we're looking purely at boxing skills and abilities, uh, Ray Leonard had more boxing skills and abilities, particularly defensively, I would say. He had uh, very good boxing skills and abilities defensively. Now, when we're talking about career, longevity, and that goes to Roy. Roy is still, uh, I think he's now retired from boxing, but uh, Roy had, you know, a long, lengthy career of 75 bouts, you know, 44 KOs, you know, he's been knocked out himself. He's, he's got a lengthy career. I think Roy is now close to 50. He's like 49 or something like that. So Roy's had a lengthy career in boxing. Ray Leonard's career was a lot shorter. He had 40 bouts. Uh, <clears throat> you know, at around the age of 35, he was, uh, he was being beaten up really badly. So, in terms of length of career, I think Ray Leonard kind of falls short of that mark, though Roy Jones had been knocked out a couple of times. Ray Leonard, um, most people know him for fighting the Fantastic or being part of the Four Kings. And uh, <clears throat> he beat Wilfredo Benitez, Roberto Durant, this is what he's known for. Thomas Hearns, and of course, Marvin Hagler. But also, he did one more great feat, which was he beat Donnie Lalonde, who was a light heavyweight. He wasn't the greatest light heavyweight out there, but he was one of the light heavyweights out there. <coughs> In addition, he faced and was beaten by Terry Norris and Hector Camacho. Hector Camacho being a legend, as well as Terry Norris, a dominant super welterweight champion, Terry Norris was. So... By and large, this is what Sugar Ray Leonard's legacy is in terms of level of competition. Um, so, uh, being honest, Ray Leonard basically is known for his fights with uh, Hagler, Hearns, and Duran. Though you must also mention his achievement of beating Donnie Lalonde. Um, I think that's, that's, that's something big right there. Now, I heard some guys arguing in the Mayweather Boxing Club that you know, Leonard had the greater competition and the better competition. But if you really pay attention, uh, Ray Leonard had just these other three guys and Wilfredo Benitez. I mean, that's that's his, that's the crop that's the creme de la creme that he has. There's Donnie Lalonde, but he's not the creme de la creme, right? Now, when you look at Roy Jones Jr.'s career, you'd be shocked to see how many great fighters and legendary fighters he's actually faced. So the first guy he faced in his career, and this was at middleweight, I believe, was uh, Bernard Hopkins, who's a living legend. I mean, what, what, we, what can we say more about Bernard Hopkins? Dominated middleweight, became the undisputed middleweight champion, went up to light heavyweight, 
dominated that, had three of the four belts. I mean, what, what, what more do you need to know? So, um, you know, or two of the three belts, I can't remember. But uh, Bernard Hopkins has a lengthy, long career, and, you know, Roy Jones Jr. beat him to win the uh, IBF World Middleweight title. And then he, <laughs> this guy faced the who's who of boxing, James Tony. You know, I mean, legendary fighter. He's won uh, titles in every single weight class from middleweight all the way up to heavyweight. Now, they're not all legitimate titles, and some of them were forfeited because he was using drugs, but, I mean, this guy is just legendary, okay? And you think that's all? No. He also faced the legendary fighter Vinny Panzienza, who won titles in, in different weight classes. This guy started off as a lightweight. You know, I won, won world titles at lightweight. So, I mean, Vinny Panzienza is just a legendary fighter. People don't talk much about him, but, you know, Roy beat him. And then Roy also beat Mike McCallum. Now, Mike McCallum was old. I'll give you that. But still, that's another legendary fighter. That's a fighter who Sugar Ray Leonard and Thomas Hearns and Marvin Hagler and Roberto Duran avoided. Okay? He then faced Virgil Hill, another legendary fighter. This was not when Virgil Hill was in his prime or anything, but he had his Virgil Hill on his, his resume. And then when face light heavyweight champion Lou Duvall, I think it was WBA light heavyweight world champion, he faced him in a unification and was able to uh, beat him. Lou Duvall is not a living legend though; he's just but he was a he was a champion. Uh, I mean, there's more. There's more. So Julio Cesar Gonzalez was another champion, very good fighter. Um, he went up to heavyweight and faced John Ruiz. So he did just much better than uh, than uh, Sugar Ray Leonard. He went up to, and he actually beat John Ruiz to become uh, the WBA heavyweight champion. So that was just incredible. He then also faced Tony Tauber, a very good fighter, and he defeated him the first time. So I'm just saying... That's Roy's career right there. He lost to, he faced some other great legendary fighters like uh, uh, Joe Kalzaki, Felix Trinidad. Got a win over Felix Trinidad. You know, uh, these are legendary fighters, okay? And we have some current guys in the world today who, they're not dominating anymore, but they, they, they once did. So this is basically Roy Jones Jr.'s career. And when you look at it, he's got a bunch of legendary fighters here, okay? He's got Felix Trinidad. He's got uh, John Ruiz. You have to mention John Ruiz, uh, you know. But in terms of legendary fighters, Felix Trinidad, uh, Virgil Hill, you know, uh, Vinny Panzienza, James Tony. And Bernard Hopkins. That's that's quite a that's quite a stack. So you can't really go with the depth of resume in terms of who we fought, who we beat. You'd find that he and Ray Leonard have comparable, uh, fantastic uh, fighters. Okay. So I wouldn't say that Ray Leonard's competition was was better than Roy's. No, not at all. But Roy was able to use uh, his limited skills and abilities and athleticism and you know, just natural gifting to beat these guys. But because he wasn't fully grounded in the basics, uh, as his athleticism faded and, and you know, his ability, his quickness and his speed, uh, he, he began to also fade off the, the map, right? Ray Leonard uh, basically left too early, but he was much more fundamentally sound. Uh, but that's it's all good. I mean... <coughs> So if you ask me who would be the better boxer, I think I would have to go with uh, Sugar Ray Leonard. But Roy Jones Jr. was the more eye-catching boxer and did face stiff competition. Still made them look like they didn't belong in the ring with him. So it is what it is. Um, I think he beat his opponents much better than Ray did. Ray did life and death stuff. and But Ray has a better chin than Roy and better defense than Roy. Uh, you know, so, you know, if you ask me who's the better fighter, Ray Leonard, who's the fighter I would want to pay to see uh, overall, that would be Roy Jones Jr. Yeah. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You guys have a great one.